Hello, and welcome to Keep Information Systems Simple, our video on relative cell reference. Relative cell reference is when we are going to allow Microsoft Excel to change our formulas um, as we drag our formulas throughout our entire sheet. We're going to allow or ask Microsoft Excel to change those formulas for us. In this document here, we have two sheets. We have a sheet that is sorted vertically. We have you know 10 people that purchased items from a store. And then our second sheet, they're just sorted horizontally, um, just so that we can show relative cell reference in two different manners. In here, we want to total how much money Wendy purchased at our store. We're simply going to do a quick sum command, equals sum C1, C2 to D2, close our formula, and we can see that Wendy purchased $136 worth of product. We want to have this formula for all of our users instead of retyping that sum formula 10 times. And again, not a big deal when there's only 10 users, but a much bigger deal if you're talking tens of thousands of users. But in this case, 10 users don't want to type 10 times. We come in and we grab this little green box and drag our formula down, uncheck, and you can see that Microsoft Excel has automatically updated our formula for us. So Joel Osteen is the combination of C, 6 and D6, which is what we want. The relative cell reference is allowing Microsoft Excel to change our formula as we drag our formula down. The same thing is true over here. If we want to drag it horizontal equals, and I'm just going to say B3 plus B4. And again, when he spent $136, I'm going to drag this formula horizontal. And because our formulas are using relative cell reference, it'll automatically update, you know, Joel Osteen is F3 plus F4, which is exactly what we want to do. So the benefit of a relative cell reference is we type it once, we drag that formula throughout our entire sheet, and Microsoft Excel automatically updates that formula for us. Thank you very much for watching our video. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.